Well, after years of new additions across the city, Antioch is getting in on Nashville's boom. Yeah, the community got its first look at plans for a massive new development right where an old one had failed years ago. Our Todd Walker is at the smart screen with a look at the plans. Todd? Well, Rory, this is all going to take place behind the old Target store just off of I-24 on Bell Road. That's it right here. And all of this land is going to be what is uh, used in it. There's going to be residential. There's going to be retail, office space. They're even hope for, for some big corporate headquarters here just off the road. Of course, there are concerns from residents, but those who have been in the community for a long time, they are excited. After years of dead malls and boarded up box stores, there is a new plan for the old target in Antioch and the 300 acres behind it. We've been working for the last eight weeks with the community to listen to what they wanted to see. So this is the second system I'd like to talk about. Tonight at a community meeting, Antioch residents got a first look at the mixed-use development that reminds many longtime residents of the Antioch of decades ago. It was sad to see it die, but it's so, uh, I'm glad to see it come back to life again. Cassandra Thompson moved to Nashville as the Hickory Hollow Mall was being built. With its death and slow rebirth, she's excited about a plan that should bring retailers back. It's good to see the area uh, grow again and the project and the investments that they're going to make in this community. I think this is going to make a big difference to help turn it around. I think this is going to really accelerate uh, the redevelopment of Antioch. There are plenty of concerns, though, about what a massive office and retail development could do to crime in the area. Others worry this project could fail too. I don't want to see more abandoned buildings and they're happening all over the city. They're happening all over Antioch. Once we get that uh, infrastructure improvement done, I think that it will open up a lot of possibilities for the community and accommodate the growth out in this area a lot better. And many hope this development is Antioch's tipping point. And if we do something great, they will come and it's, it's a herd deal. They'll all come together. We're not going to get one of them. Now this does have to go before Metro Council to get uh, the rezoning approved. That process will start next month. There's going to be a lot of road infrastructure improvements, and that will all be finished in 2017, including a new interchange here off of the highway. That uh, Once that construction is done on the infrastructure, the development construction can begin. So all of this should be completed around 2018 or 2019. Jessica. Well, the land includes farmland that was owned by the John Henry Turner family. Those family members told us today they're excited about the project as well.